Hey guys, it's Steve. So a friend of mine posted this awesome looking recipe on my Facebook page. It's for some cheesy bacon bombs. So one look and I knew I was gonna have to make them. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so this is an incredibly simple recipe and it's pouring down outside right now. So we're gonna do this whole thing in the kitchen. So all you need is some bacon, some of these um, Pillsbury Grands flaky layers uh, biscuits, and I got the honey butter ones, and then uh, some mozzarella cheese. So the first step is just taking our cheese, and you want to cut these into about one inch squares. So we'll cut a piece off, and then we're just going to go like that. And that's all we're looking for. So just little squares, just like this. All right, so now that we've got our mozzarella blocks here, we're gonna take our biscuits, and I'm just gonna cut these in half. The original recipe that I'll post in the description calls for cutting these into quarters, but I don't think that's gonna be quite enough. So all you gotta do is just take a block of this cheese and just wrap it, wrap the biscuit around the cheese just like this. And then I got some thick cut bacon. And all we're doing is we're just gonna wrap it all around and see how I kind of turned it then? So the, the whole thing is uh, wrapped up by this bacon. And then we're just gonna take a toothpick here and go all the way through to, just, to secure it. You could use some of the longer wood skewers, but I didn't have any. So you can see that it's securing it on both sides. And that's it, we'll go ahead and build the rest of these out. All right, and we'll do this last one here. Just about done. And again, just kind of wrap it around and then rotate it so you can get all sides of the biscuit and cheese covered. And get it nice and secured with a toothpick. So there we go. So we've got uh, eight of these guys prepped. These look awesome. All right, so I've got some canola oil heated up to 350 in uh, my little cast iron skillet here. I'm just going to do two or three of these at a time. And I'll be flipping them in just a few minutes once the bacon starts to get brown. All right, and all we're gonna do is just give these a little flip here. Bacon's getting nice and brown. And then we'll pull these and set these on a paper towel to drain in just a couple minutes. All right guys, and here we go. So only a few minutes later, these have sat and drained well. Pull that toothpick out there and you can see how well that stayed together. Go ahead and try this. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my gosh, that is so good. Take one more bite here. Mmm. <laughs> Gosh, those are dangerous. Only took a few minutes to make and the way that cheese pairs with the fried biscuit and bacon, that is unreal good. I meant to mention uh, previously, this recipe uh, came from obiteit.com. So thanks to those guys, I'll put a link in the description so you can go check that out. So uh, thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you again soon. Yeah.